morning, good afternoon, good evening, that's a matter. Welcome to the channel. We'll talk about anything. Today I'm gonna to show you guys the amazing black man, the first man in the whole continent Africa has invented something that was already invented, but not in Africa. Yes, yes, yes. It was invented in the rest of the world, but not in Africa was not invented. And he has invented it. Wireless charging. See? Wireless charging. So, I'm in Europe, so we have this one, wireless charging. I don't know what in Africa. I think you guys don't have, like, wireless charging. But this guy in Zimbabwe and on social media, people are saying that we should protect him in Africa because Africans don't have wireless charging this man has made one for TVs and we need to protect him if we don't protect him people the white people are going to kill him or steal his idea the wireless charging is only in Europe Africans don't have wireless charging so this man is a genius for Africa now this is nonsense but for people that still believe it i have evidence for to show you guys that this wireless charging was uh, yeah created in 2009 i have evidence to show you guys the mobile phones the tvs everything was done and then i have a video for you guys in 2011 and there's even a battery tv lg i didn't even know that but because of this story, I went there and I looked at it and I saw it. And then we are going to watch this uh, Zimbabwe guy with his new invention. I hope that you guys love this video. I hope that you guys like this video, comment on this video, share this video and subscribe to this channel. So yes, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out and watch the videos. Huh? You're going to love the video. See you. Early visions of wireless power actually were thought of by Nikola Tesla basically about a hundred years ago. The thought that you wouldn't want to transfer electric power wirelessly, no one ever thought of that. They thought, who would use it if you didn't? And so, in fact, he actually set about doing a variety of things, both the Tesla coil, this tower was built on Long Island back at the beginning of the 1900s, and the idea was it was supposed to be able to transfer power anywhere on Earth. We'll never know if this stuff worked. Actually, I think the uh, Federal Bureau of Investigation uh, took it down for security purposes sometime in the early 1900s. But the one thing that did come out of electricity is that we love this stuff so much. I mean, think about how much we love this. If you just walk outside, there are trillions of dollars that have been invested in infrastructure around the world putting up wires to get power from where it's created to where it's used. Do is take a couple minutes and show you actually how it works. And um, what I'm going to do is to show you pretty much what's here, you've got a coil. That coil's connected to a RF amplifier that creates a high frequency oscillating magnetic field. We put one on the back of the television set. By the way, I do make it look a little bit easier than it is. There's lots of electronics and secret sauce and all kinds of intellectual property that go into it. But then what's going to happen is it'll create a field. It'll cause one to get created on the other side. And if the demo gods are willing, in about 10 seconds or so, we should see it. The 10 seconds actually are because we... I don't know if any of you have ever thought about plugging a TV in when you use just a core, generally you have to go over and hit the button. So I thought, we put a little computer in it that has to wake up to, to tell it to do that. So, I'll plug that in. It creates a magnetic field here. It causes one to be created out here. And as I said, in sort of about 10 seconds, we should start to see... This is a commercially... A, com a commercially available color television set. Imagine you get one of these things, you want to hang them on the wall. How many people want to hang them on the wall? Think about it. You don't want those ugly cords coming down. Imagine if you can get rid of it. The, the other thing I wanted to talk about was safety. 
So there's nothing going on. I'm okay. And I'll do it again, just for uh, safety's sake. Almost immediately, though, people ask, how small can you make this? Can you make this small enough? Because remember, Dr. Soyacic's original idea was his wife's cell phone beeping. So I wanted to show you something. We're an equal opportunity uh, designer of this sort of thing. This is a Google G1. You know, it's the latest thing that's come out. It runs the Android operating system. I think I heard somebody talk about that before. It's on. It has a battery. It also has coil and electronics that Ytricity has put into the back of it. And if I can get sort of the camera... Yeah, okay, great. You'll see, as I get sort of close... You're looking at a cell phone powered completely wirelessly. And I, and I know some of you are Apple aficionados, so you know, they don't make it easy at Apple to get inside their phone, so we put a little sleeve on the back, but we should be able to get this guy to wake up too. And those of you that have an iPhone recognize the, uh, the green uh, center, and, um, and Nokia as well. You'll see that the, what we did there was put a little thing in the back uh, to do that, and it probably beeps actually as it goes on as well. But the screen, typically you use it to light up the screen. So imagine these things could go, they could go in your ceiling, they could go in the floor, they could go actually underneath your desktop, so that when you walk in or you come in from home, if you carry a purse, it works in your purse. You never have to worry about plugging these things in again and think of what that would do for you. So I think, in closing, sort of in the immortal uh, visions of the New Yorker magazine, I thought I'd put up uh, one more slide. And for those of you that can't read it, it says, it does appear to be some kind of wireless technology. So thank you very much. We are resonance, and we know how to make things work without wires. Look at this TV. It has no power cord, and it works. How is it possible? We have designed a system that can transfer electricity in the air. The system consists of the transmitting coil and the receiving coil. The transmitting coil can be integrated inside the wall or a table. The receiving coil inside the TV frame. Of course, they can be thin and plain. Our technology is based on magnetic resonance. Quite a few companies try to develop wireless transfer for their products, but none of them made it real. We have managed to find an innovative technological solution. Our patented design of the system makes the wireless transfer efficient. TV works, the coils are misaligned, and the distance is big enough to call it really wireless. and you have an LG TV which only has a battery in the whole world. Imagine that, only TV which can, which can watch, only using a battery. So I'll show you, we know that normal all the TVs, they always have a 240 volts, but this one, you don't need electricity. So let us see it. Okay, so this is the TV. So yeah, let us see how it works. Yeah? So this is the TV, we're gonna put it on. This is one of the most amazing technology. I don't know even why LG stopped producing TVs which have an inbuilt battery, but this is one which we got, and actually it has an inbuilt battery. One of the best LG TVs. You can ever find over there. So if you have a problem with electricity problems or uh, power fluctuations, this is a TV for you. So actually, let me explain. Actually, I'm going to remove the power cable. That's the power cable, I just removed it as the TV is still playing. So, if you don't believe it, there, no cable. So, on the TV. That's still playing. How does LG actually sustain this? So, actually, here at the park, we have a lithium ion removable battery. This is how the battery looks like. Actually, it's quite small and uh, it's not that heavy, but it can stay up to like one hour just watching continuously the TV. And that's so. So now we're going to watch the guy from Zimbabwe claiming that he has invented something that was already invented. Claiming. So let's check the video.
One of Zimbabwe's most celebrated technopreneurs, Max Wachikumbuzo, has once again come up with a masterstroke innovation, and this time it is an embedded wireless power generator that uses radio frequency to power a television set. Chikumbuzo demonstrated his latest innovation to a ZBC News crew at his base in Harare, whereby a TV does not need the electricity connection for it to function. Yeah, this is our self-powered TV that we have uh, designed, the first in the world to have such kind of a technology where a television is powered with a radio frequency. So as you can see right now I'm powering this television. Uh, so this is the first uh, television in the world that uses self power to say. It is all in one. You don't need to put it on electricity or on solar panel or anything. As it is, it is a complete solution. Behind the television, you can see that there is a microsonic energy device, this box. This is the device that is converting radio frequencies into pure energy. As you can see, the power of the cable was supposed to be here. On all traditional televisions, power comes here, but there's no power as you can see. The television is, it is working as it is. So in Lyman, I think this television is a, we can call it a, a self-powered television. It is indeed an exciting innovation that comes in handy for households without electricity and even so a relief to many in the event of power outages. Chikumbuso continues to fly the Zimbabwean flag high in the world of innovation and this latest offering will put the country's map at the forefront of technological transformation. Owen Mendova, ZBC News, Harare.